Welcome back to the free first call resolution report part two software installation. So let's begin with the software download. When you received your report you should have received an email that looks like this. Go ahead and click on the resources portal. This will take you out to our website where you can download the software. Go ahead and click download. Let's click save. Now that we have the software downloaded let's go ahead and install it. Locate where you have downloaded it Go ahead and double click your EXC, click yes to accept, click next, click I agree. By default all five options here are checked. You want to go ahead and leave that, click next. I'm going to uncheck start menu, check desktop, leave the rest as is, click next. Accept the default installation path, click next. By default we do want to install WinPCAP, click install. Click next, click next, click I agree. I'm going to uncheck automatically start at boot time, click install, and click finish. Next, and then let's go ahead and click run Wireshark, click finish, and then let's go ahead and maximize the screen here. Okay, now that we have the software installed and open, let's go ahead and make some configuration changes so that we can ensure that we can see the CTI data. Go ahead and click Capture Options. First thing you want to do is come up to the top here and specify the correct NIC. I know that we've installed this on a laptop that can see the CTI traffic on our network on this NIC here. So I've selected it. Now you want to specify the port. I'm going to type PORT space 5678. That is filtering for CTI data that is communicating on port 5678. In our environment, we're looking for a via ASAI data on that port. So with those two configurations, uh, let's go ahead and click Start. You should immediately see data come into your monitor window. So let's go ahead and click a uh, packet up here, come down below and open that up. Now in the data section of this packet, if I click on data here, I see that below I have 08 as the first two characters. So that tells me that we are, in fact, seeing a via ASAI data in this environment. So I'm going to stop the capture file. Click the X to discard that. Go ahead and continue without saving. Next, let's specify the location for the capture files. Go ahead and click Capture Options. Now click the Browse button. I'm going to double click on the D drive. Click Create Folder. I'm going to name this CTI Capture. Click Enter. Now give it a name, CTI underscore data. And that's it. Click OK. Next, let's go back into Capture Options. And in this step, we want to specify the size of the file for upload. So go down to the bottom left here under Stop Capture. Put a check in your second box. Let's change this one to a 5. So what we're saying is that we want to stop our capture after we have a 5 megabyte file. Let's go ahead and click Start now. So what we'll do is after this 5 megabyte file is complete, you'll want to go ahead and grab that file and upload it to Primus. We will then analyze that, make sure that we can see your data, and give it the green light to go ahead and turn this on for a week. Once you have your 5 megabyte capture file, you're going to want to upload that to Primus. I'm going to show you how now. Uh, I have already taken that file uh, here and zipped it up into a uh, CTI underscore data zip file. I'm going to go ahead in Core FTP, you know, my site manager. I'm going to create a new site. What we'll call this is uh, Primus Client. Uh, you're going to go ahead and set your address to fcr.primus.net. Uh, your username, and you should have received this by email, is client and then you want to go ahead and enter your password. Once you have that set up, just go ahead and click Connect. You'll see the welcome message there. Now simply take your CTI data file, drag it over here, and that's it. Once Primus receives your 5 megabyte capture file, we'll load that through our Evolution FCR analysis engine. We'll then quickly return some reports to you to help you verify that we're seeing what we should be. Here's an example of report one. 
This is FCR percent for the entire contact center. You see that we have an 82 percent uh, first call resolution rate here uh, with a 17 percent repeat caller rate. Example number two, we have the most frequent callers. We have the top five here. These usually help with root cause analysis uh, for repeat caller reasons. Now that you have this, you're going to want to go ahead and reconfigure Wireshark so that you can capture a week's worth of data. So now that we've verified we can see your data correctly, let's come back into Wireshark, go up to Capture Options, and now we want to set up a capture file to capture a full week of data for you. So again, go back up to the top, select your NIC. Your port should now be present in the Capture Filter. You want to go ahead and browse to select the file. Let's go to the D drive, the folder. Go ahead and double click this file here. Once again, click on Capture Options. And now what we want to specify is that we're going to use multiple files. So click Use Multiple Files. We want to create the next file every 500 megabytes. Skip an option. Come down to Ring Buffer with 2. Change that 2 to a 20. We don't imagine you'll use that much data, but just in case. So what we've said is we have the correct NIC, the port, file location. We're going to create a new file every 500 megabytes up to 20 files. All you have to do now is click Start. And that's it. This concludes our instructional video. If you haven't done so already, you can get started at www.primus.net slash FCR. If you come out to our portal, you'll find the resources supporting this effort, as well as additional FCR resources, such as our FCR report, our Primus blog, and our Evolution FCR software. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to give us a call at 888-477-4627.